in this video i will show you the operation of our rtl nor gate see here i have a two input nor gate here inputs are v1 and v2 and output is y the operation of nor gate is such that if we have at least one at any of the input terminal our output will be zero so let me show the truth table for the nor gate for zero zero as there is no one output will be one zero one we have at least one one here therefore output will be zero for third combination one zero we have at least one here output will be zero one one we have two one here therefore output will be zero now let me show you the verification of this truth table using the rtl nor gate this is the rtl nor gate circuit and the circuit will use two transistors q1 and q2 and you will see that we have base resistors rb rb and i am applying the input voltage at one end of the rb rb and another end of this rb is connected to the base terminal of this transistor and this transistor and this rb is known as base bias resistor or base resistor and here for logic zero for logic zero i will apply zero volt and for logic one i will apply let's say five volt usually in case of rtl logic gate logic zero is determined by 0.2 volt and logic one is determined by 3.6 volt as i am discussing different types of logic families therefore for convenience i will use logic zero as zero volt and logic one as five volt consider the first case when v1 will be at zero and v2 will be at zero v1 is at zero and v2 is at zero that means this terminal is connected to ground terminal and this connect this terminal is also connected to ground terminal when this base to emitter junction voltage and this base to emitter junction voltage will be equal to zero volt both the transistors will be in off state and when the transistors will be in off state their collector and emitter terminals will act like open switch so i can disconnect the collector and emitter terminal of both transistors from our given circuit if i disconnect the collector and emitter terminals of the circuit you will see our circuit will look like this therefore the collector current for the transistor q1 will be equal to zero and the collector current for the transistor q2 will also be equal to zero that means the current through this path will be equal to zero therefore our ic rl drop will be equal to zero that means there is no voltage drop between this terminal to this terminal that means this vcc will be appeared across this output to ground terminal so our output voltage vo will be equal to plus vcc usually the value of this vcc is equal to 5 volt that means i will get 5 volt at the output to ground terminal which indicates the logic one now consider the second case when the voltage v1 will be at zero and v2 will be at one v2 will be at one and v1 will be at zero that means this terminal will be connected to ground terminal and i will apply 5 volt plus 5 volt between this base to ground terminal of the transistor q2 see as the base voltage of the transistor q1 equal to zero so our transistor q1 will be in off state when this transistor will be in off state its collector and emitter terminals will act like an open switch that means i can disconnect the collector and emitter terminals of the transistor q1 now if i consider the case of transistor q2 see i am applying 5 volt between this terminal to ground terminal as the base to emitter junction voltage of the transistor q2 is equal to 5 volt so our transistor q2 will be in on state so when the transistor q2 will be in on state its collector and emitter terminals will act like a closed switch so i can short the collector and emitter terminal of the transistor q2 you will see there will be a total short path between this terminal to this ground terminal so our output voltage vo will be equal to zero volt that means our y will be at logic zero now let me consider the third case 
when v1 will be at logic 1 and v2 will be at logic 0 v1 will be at logic 1 that means I will apply 5 volt between the base to ground terminal so transistor q1 will be in on state now consider the case of transistor q2 this base terminal will be at logic 0 that means this terminal will be connected to ground terminal as the base terminal of the transistor q2 is in logic 0 therefore transistor q2 will be in off state when the transistor q2 will be in off state its collector and emitter terminals will act like open switch that means i can disconnect the collector and emitter terminals from the given network therefore the collector current of the transistor q2 will be equal to zero and as the transistor q1 is in on state its collector and emitter terminals will act like a closed switch so i can short the collector and emitter terminal you will see there will be a total short path between this terminal to this ground terminal that means our output voltage will be equal to zero volt due to this short circuit so our output will stay at logic zero for input bit combination of one zero now consider the last case one one this terminal will be at logic one and this terminal will be at logic one that means i will apply plus five volt between base to ground terminal for both the transistors q1 and q2 so you will see transistors q1 and q2 both of them will be in on state as both of them will be in on state their collectors and emitter terminals will act like closed switch so i can connect the collector and emitter terminals with a short path for both transistors there will be two short paths first one is throughout this path from this terminal to ground terminal and another one is through this path therefore our output voltage will be equal to zero volt due to these short circuits so our output will stay at logic zero for input of one one and this is the operation of rtl nor gate because here you will see the circuit will be made of only resistor and transistors and it verifies the truth table of a nor gate that's it thank you